In the early 2000s, I grew up watching Bolton Wanderers playing in the Premier League. Unfortunately, they dropped down to the Championship in 2012, and then yo-yoed between League 1 and the Championship, and even spent a season in League 2 very recently. So it's safe to say that times have been really tough at Bolton. Thankfully, they've got themselves back up to League 1 and are hoping to kick on from there. They currently sit third in the league and are one of the favourites for promotion, and we are going to make it our task to rebuild Bolton and take them back to the Premier League and also hope for some European success along the way as well. We're going to set our tactical vision for Bolton as a Gergen pressing side and snap up the best coaches that are available. These are the coaches that I only deemed necessary to pick up. We will improve this along the next couple of seasons, I'm sure. This is the default side that you get from the start of the game, and do you know what? It's not too bad at all. I recognise a couple of familiar faces, Randall Williams and Nathan Baxter are former Hull City players that we had the other season. And with the exception of Cameron Jerome, most of our players are actually at a solid age. It's quite often the case in League 1 and League 2 that your best players are a lot older, but in fact we've got a good age squad. We only have 2 million to spend so we are going to look to sell some players and dip into the free agents for Season 1. We are bringing in 3 free agents, we are bringing in centre midfielder Eric Sanchez who who's 79 overall, Jesus Angulo, who's 74 overall for centre-back, and a new goalkeeper just 23 years of age, Labrovic could be with us for a good few seasons at 72 overall. Luke Hutchinson joins Salford for 150k, and Bodvardson joins Barnsley for 350k. We have brought in Mexican right-back Kevin Alvarez from the free agents, and George Thomason joins Cheltenham for just over a million. That's a great bit of money to bring in. That cash coming in means we have been able to sign Sofian Buffal, a great centre forward. Jack Idale has left for 600k. Aaron Morley, a future prospect, has gone 1.7 mil though. That's a lot of money. We've brought in another Mexican. It's Henry Martin, a 79 overall striker. And the Mexican rebuild continues. Gallardo, a left back, has signed. Strengthening the centre defensive options with Adam Lang. We have Josh Sheehan leaving us to Bristol City for just over half a mil. Declan John has joined Huddersfield for just over half a mil. Yethin Jones has also left for just over half a mil. Mill. We've got a lot of money, we're going to go and hunt for some more free agents. And we have snapped up Marco Stamenic, a CDM, and also joining us is Luis Romo, a very good centre midfielder. A big move letting Dion Charles go to Norwich for 1.3 million, and Toil has gone as well for 1.1 million. Strengthening our defence with a Czech centre-back Jakub Bravic has signed, and a new attacking midfielder Salt Kalma has been signed as well. So for season 1 in League 1, we are definitely free agent FC, but I think we've built a side that would comfortably finish mid-table in the championship, let alone do well in League One. So hopefully we can smash this league, get promotion, and then look at signing some players that aren't free agents. Season one of the rebuild is finished and Bolton are your champions of League One by an absolute landslide. I'm not too bothered about keeping Martin or Buffal around because they are aging strikers, but I think Sanchez could definitely be a player that needs to stick around at Bolton for a few seasons. Same with Angulo, and I'd like to keep Gallardo and Alvarez, but they look fuming, and chances are I think they have requested a move away from the side. And I can't believe that Labrovic has gone up from 72 to 77, and he's only 24 years of age. We've got to keep him around. So the contract situation, Kevin Alvarez, what a player he is, but he will not renew his contract because he wants to leave. Adam Lang is 70 overall now, he has declined. I'm not interested in keeping him for the championship. Gallardo as well wants to leave, but we can keep Henry Martin around for another year. And we definitely need to keep Henry Martin for another season because he got 34 goals last season. We are out here in season two in the championship with 17 million to spend. That isn't bad at all. Our first departure is Victor going to Ghent for 1.6 million. I'm not attempting to pronounce that last name, I apologize. We've also got Mendez Gomez going to 20 for 1.7 million. He requested a transfer. Our first incoming is Amin Al Dekil from Burnley for 5.5 million. And Jaden Bogle is joining us. We have a new right wing back, 6.2 million plus a swap. Will Forrester has left us 1.1 million to Pisa. And Brabic, who we signed as a free agent, has left for 2.5 million to Levante. We have brought in centre back cover with Robert Bauer from the free agents. And Araujo is a 71 
rated 19 year old goalkeeper that we've signed from the free agents. It's good to have a regen on the books now. Joel Coleman leaves for 300k. I'm excited about this signing. Left wing back Alvaro Fernandez from Man United for 6.4 mil. Kalmar, our centre midfielder, leaves to Al Nasser for 3.7 mil. I've just brought in Giovanni Lombardi, a Italian centre back regen, and he's got five star skills and five star weak foot. Ricardo Santos, our centre back, leaves for 1.3 mil to Granada, and we are improving our centre backs with Montero, another regen Portuguese centre back. George Johnson has left to Salzburg for 1.6 mil. Walton has signed a promising centre midfielder, Charlie Patino. He's come from Milan for 5.7 mil. We have got to deadline day and we are severely lacking in any kind of reserve players, so we are bringing in a lot of free agents. We've got 66 rated Tom back. We have 66 rated Bolivar. We've got 65 rated Ben Mohamed. We've got 70 rated Ambrosius, who looks like a decent backup centre back option. We've got 68 rated Andre Luiz, a Brazilian striker. And then we have 68 rated Adam Anderson. If I don't sign these free agents, I've literally got 18 players in our squad, and that's it. The Bolton team for season two is super strong, considering we have just been promoted. Let's have a look at the starting 11. Labrovic at 78 overall, after signing as a 72 rated free agent last season. We've got fullbacks joining in Bogle and Fernandez, who do have good potential. And Gulo is a remaining centre back, joined by two regens Montero and five star skill, five star weak foot Lombardi. What a player at 17 as well. Our midfield has Sanchez and Romo, who were our free agents from last season, joined with a potential wonder kid in Charlie Patino. And then our front two stay the same in Sofian Bufal and Henry Martin, who scored bags of goals last season. And he is 80 overall. They're both in their peak at 31 and 30 years of age, but they should be able to do it on a wet, cold Tuesday night in Stoke. Let's get season two underway. We are finished with season two, our first season in the championship. And I didn't really have much expectation on this season. I knew that we were going to be decent because of the overall of our players, but we absolutely smashed it and finished second in the league, meaning we've got back-to-back -back promotions to the Premier League. And I can't believe I'm saying this. We got to the semi-finals of the FA Cup and lost on penalties to Liverpool. And despite being 32 years of age, Henry Martin has got an incredible goal return for Bolton in his career. 24 goals again this season, absolutely smashing it. And stats why some of these players go from strength to strength. Labrovic now a 79 rated goalkeeper. He is Premier League ready. Lombardi at 77 and Montero at 78. They are ready for the Prem as well. I'm very happy as well with Sanchez, who's one of the free agents in League One that we signed up to 80 overall. And he's only 25 years of age as well. We've got a very decent base. I think we'll stay up without any transfers. But season three, our first season in the Prem, we've got an incredible 102 million to spend. And our first Premier League signing is going to be from Liverpool. It's Harvey Elliott, a very promising player, but already a very well-rounded 81 rated midfielder for 30 million. And we are strengthened in our defence with Mickey van der Ven from Spurs for 31.9 mil. Our best player of the save so far, Henry Martin, has gone to Aston Villa for 19 million. After Henry Martin left, we needed a new striker and we have signed Brian Brobby, 81 rated at 23 years of age and he's cost us 40 million from Nice. Strengthening our wing back options with Timothy Pembele from Sunderland for 7.2 mil. And a 74 rated regen joins us, Alex Meza can play either right back or left back. An Italian striker, Sebastiano Esposito signs on a free agent, he is 74 rated. And it's got to that time of the transfer window where I don't have many reserve players, but I've spent spent all of my money. We spent big on Van der Ven, we spent big on Javi Elliott and on Brian Broby, so we need to fill in the reserves with these players. Ayoane is a decent backup goalkeeper. Armanu can play anywhere across the attacking midfield positions. Aksoy is a centre-back backup. Jordan Amavi, a former Aston Villa player, will sign as well. Semi Ajayi, I believe he played for West Brom, is another centre-back option. And Alakon can play in CM or CDM. I don't have any expectations apart from staying up. We cannot get relegated. I think we will be safe. This side is looking very decent. I am very happy with the starting 11. I really do wish that we could have signed somebody else instead of Bufal. I did try and sell him, but nobody came in for him. But with the additions of Harvey Elliott, Brian Brobby, and Mickey van der Ven, I think we're strengthened in every area of the pitch and we look like a very solid side. Hopefully we can finish around mid table and grow some of these high potential players into the 80 overalls. Let's do this. At the end of our first season in the Premier League, Bolton Wanderers have finished
finished a very respectable 13th place. 49 points, well away from the bottom three. And you know what? Not too far away from the top 10. 13th is a great start in the Premier League for us. We lost in the sixth round of the FA Cup. We couldn't get to the semi-finals, but we're doing well in that competition. We got to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup this season. Last season, we got to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. This time, we lost 7-2 on aggregate to United. I find it interesting that Esposito played 46 games and was our top goal scorer. And Brian Brobby only scoring 12 in 47 appearances. That's not very good. Ah, oh, I've seriously messed up, though. Eric Sanchez is 81 overall, and I've let his contract run out to the point of where I can't negotiate. Uh, same with Luis Romo, who I'm not too fussed about, and uh, Angulo as well. But they'd have been good plays to just, you know, have under contract and sell next season. That's a schoolboy error. At the very beginning of season four, we've been able to sign Adley, who is an 81 rated attacking midfielder, on a free deal. And another free agent joins us, Palestri, the former Man United winger. We have 46 million to spend in season four. That is a dramatic decrease from the 100 million we had last season. And our second striker, Bufal, has gone down to 75 overall. So I'm definitely looking for a starting striker with that money. Our new starting striker is going to be Jorginho Rutter, signed from Leeds for 34.5 million. Unfortunately, Al De Kiel submitted a transfer request. He's gone to Almira for 10.5 mil. Lombardi submitted a transfer request, which is gutting. The five-star skill centre-back goes to Brighton for 15 mil. So we do have a new defender joining us, Sepp Vandenberg from Liverpool for 16.4 million. Free agent Martin Adelin signs he'll be a decent bench player. Defensive midfielder Han Noah Masengo has been signed from Burnley for just under 10 million and a backup centre-back option in Omar Bamadeli from Forest for 9.3 million. And it is that time of the transfer window where we are going to snap up these free agents just to fill in the reserves. So in season four, this is how we are looking and I'm quite excited about this season. We've switched up to a 4 triple 2 I think it suits our side a little bit better. We've still got wing backs, so it'll be interesting to see how our defence fares. With Mickey van der Ven at 84 rating, he looks very, very strong. Wrong. Um, where is our goal? Where is Labrovic? Okay, apparently Labrovic went to Aston Villa. I don't remember accepting a bid for him. <laughs> I've just checked my finances and I've got 70 million. There must have been some kind of like release clause or something that's happened with Labrovic because I've got so much money and I did not accept a bid. That must have happened when I was simulating forward. Right, I better get in a new goalkeeper before we start the rest of the season. Our new goalkeeper is going to be none other than Aaron Ramsdale from Arsenal for 63 million pounds, but he is 87 over. Overall. All right, this is what I was trying to show you before we had that discovery of our goalkeeper completely missing. Here is what we're going to line up for as <laughs> our new look side in season four, our second season in the Premier League. We have strengthened with Rutter up front, Adley at attacking mid, Masengo coming in at CDM, and we also have Ramsdale, a new goalkeeper. This side is looking very, very strong. Let's see how we do. I'm hoping for top 10 now. All right, so just quick reminder, that this is the end of season four so season one was promotion from league one season two was promotion from the championship season three was 13th in the premier league and then in outstandings for season four we've finished second in the league four points away from the title i don't know how that has happened but champions league football is coming to Bolton after four seasons. Rutter was our top goal scorer by one goal. Adley actually got 18 from midfield, which is very impressive, but 19 in 39 for Rutter isn't bad. And do you know what? Brian Brobby is 84 overall now, but with 17 goals. <sighs> I'm half tempted to get rid of him, you know. Here are the overalls for the end of season four. Nothing outstanding realistically, but it's great to see that we've got 87 rated Ramsdale, 85 rated Van der Ven. We've got a couple of world-class players in this side now. We need to prepare for Champions League football in season five and 164 million will really help us get that. I'm probably going to butcher his name, but our first signing is a free agent and it is an 80 rated attacking midfielder. Magnus Akluche? No idea if I've nailed that or not. A sign for Bolton. Strengthening our centre midfield spot with Sandro Tonali. Obviously banned in real life at the moment for betting, but he's signed for 80 million. What a player. And alongside Tonali, we have now a new Italian duo as Fabio Moretti signs as another centre midfielder for 88 million. That is all of our money spent. And in season five, we are lining up in a 4 1 2 1 2 and narrow. We've got so much more talent in the reserves and substitutes than we've ever had before. And the starting 11, as 
especially the midfield, is so strong. So 89 rated Tonali joins us, as well as 86 rated Miretti, and the rest of the team stays the same with some really good players in every position. I'm very happy with this. I'm surprised we got second, I'm not going to lie. But let's see how we do in the Champions League. If we can finish top four again and do decent in other competitions, I'll be happy with that. Because honestly, I do think we still need probably a right back, a left back, a centre back, and then better strikers. So we've got a lot of rebuilding still to do if we want success in Europe. So at the end of season five, remember last season we finished second. Bolton again have finished second in the league, this time only two points away from Manchester City. So we've got Champions League football again. We didn't do great in the FA Cup, but again we lost in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. And our first attempt in the Champions League, we finished second in our group in, to be honest, what was quite an easy group. Sociedad absolutely absolutely smashed it. Uh, in the round of 16, we managed to beat Borussia Dortmund 3-0. And in the quarterfinals, unfortunately, we got knocked out by Liverpool. And stats-wise, what a season. Season 5 was for Brian Brobby, 29 goals. And Rutter up top with 26 as well. We must have been scoring heaps of goals this season. Rutter up to an 86, Brobby up to an 85. They have had a very, very pivotal seasons this season. Tonali and Moretti, a great duo to bring in. And our defence ain't looking too bad either. Aaron Ramsdale's an 89 rated. He's got to be one of the best goalkeepers on the game now. I believe we need to spend big on a new left back and right back next season. Season 6 is upon us and we've got 200 million. That is more like it. Cleuche has left for 28.3 million to Juve. He submitted a transfer request. And Sofian Alakuc has gone to Luton for 1.5 mil as well. This season, it is all about strengthening our defence. So Parisi, an 87 rated left back, has been signed from Chelsea. And one of the best centre backs money can buy, Jules Kunde signs from Newcastle for 73 million. And the rest of our budget has and the rest of our budget has brought in Trent Alexander Arnold for just under 60 million. He had less than a year left on his contract, so it's a bit of a bargain. So with the defensive additions of Parisi, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Jules Kunde, I believe we are ready to take on season six. After finishing second twice in the Premier League, we need to take on the title and hope that we can also do well in the Champions League. We are in such a good position for just six seasons of this rebuild. So season six is finished and for the third season in a row, Bolton have finished second in the league. Man City are a very difficult side to dethrone. And in true fashion, we lost in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. But this time around, we beat Chelsea 2-0 to win our first bit of silverware in the Carabao Cup. In the Champions League, it was a familiar story. We finished second in our group and Sociedad were top. In the round of 16, we scraped past Milan 3-2 on aggregate. In the quarters, we also scraped through against PSG 3-2 on aggregate. And in the semi-finals, we won 2-1 on aggregate against Sociedad from our group, meaning we face against Leipzig in the final. Bolton Wanderers versus Red Bull Leipzig. What a weird final. Stats-wise then, Rutter with 34 goals in 60 appearances. Just shows how far we went in all of the competitions this season. This is how we line up then for the Champions League final that I am going to play. Rutter is up to an 88 overall, which is incredible to see. And we are such a strong side now. I think next season, if we need to go for the Premier League title, it'll probably be looking at bringing in like an all-time one of the world's best strikers to replace Brobby and then probably a replacement on Harvey Elliott to bring in like a 90 rated cam. But other than that, we are so solid in every position. But we've managed somehow to get the ball back and Harvey Elliott Running through on goal, brings it on to his left foot, saved by Restes, and Rutter manages to squeeze the ball in. Jorginho Rutter, the signing from Leeds United, makes it Bolton 1, Leipzig 0. Playing some nice patterns of football straight from the goal kickers, Adley, Rutter and Parisi. What a tackle that is, as Rutter will come through on goal and square it for Brobby to make it 2-0. The aggression from the left-back Parisi to win the ball back. And we've managed to double our lead in the Champions League final. The full-time whistle goes in its Leipzig nil. Bolton Wanderers 2. Bolton Wanderers are your Champions League winners after six seasons of the rebuild. It's an incredible achievement, but we are not done there yet. Our attention will turn to the Premier League. 
As we turn our attention in Season 7 to the Premier League title, we've got 304 million to spend. I'm going to look for an amazing striker and attacking midfielder. If we are serious about winning the Premier League, we need a better attacking midfielder. And that is going to be... Florian Verts from Leverkusen for 150 million. And I believe we need a backup striker. Makoko is here for 72 million. So just two additions, Makoko and Verts to hopefully seal us the Premier League title and complete this rebuild. So after seven seasons rebuilding Bolton Wanderers, I can say that Bolton are your Premier League champions. Finally dethroning Manchester City by four points. In true Bolton fashion, Fashion, we lost in the semi-finals to the FA Cup. We haven't been able to win it. We got nowhere near in the Carabao Cup in our final season. But we do have a chance to go back to back in the Champions League. We've got to the final once again, but this time we face PSG. Now, after already winning it last season, I will just simulate this game. So as we bring this game to a close, we quick sim against PSG. Let's see how we do. We got demolished 3-0, so we cannot defend our Champions League trophy, but what an incredible rebuild this has been. If you guys enjoy career mode content, please please subscribe so you don't miss my next upload. If you got all the way to the end, I would love it if you left a like as well. And also, before you leave, I need your suggestion on what team I should be rebuilding next. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you ever so much for watching my rebuild. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.